Hello, nonfiction and STEM fans. This is Kirsten Larson. I am the author of Woodwire Wings, Emma Lillian Todd, and Vincent Airplane. And I'm here with another nonfiction or STEM book review. Today, I am reading the biography, The Boy Whose Head Was Filled with Stars, A Life of Edwin Hubble. This um, is written by Isabel Marinov. It's illustrated by Deborah Marcero. And I have to tell you, um, I have a real personal connection with this book because... Um, up until even last fall, I was working of my, on my own biography of Edwin Hubble, not realizing that this one was coming off, out. And I was having a real hard time trying to figure out the best way to capture Edwin um, Hubble's story and the story of um, the evolution of our picture of the universe. And I'm so glad that my book morphed into something else because this book truly nailed it. Um, I just wanna tell you um, a few highlights of this book. So the, um, Edwin Hubble, if you don't know, he basically discovered that the Milky Way galaxy is not the only thing in in the entire universe, that the universe is a collection of galaxies and that our universe is expanding and moving away from each other. And that kind of um, set the stage for the, the Big Bang Theory. Um, so I love a, a few different things about this book. Um, first, she, uh, Isabel Marinoff zeroes in on um, Edwin Hubble's childhood when he first became fascinated with the stars. He got a telescope for one of his birthdays. And um, I love how these questions are in silver and these become a refrain throughout the book. Um, how many stars are in the sky? How did the universe begin? Where did it come from? And this, these question, this questioning starts um, in Edwin's childhood and continues um, as he learns more and more about the universe. We see the questions again. And when he become, when he works um, as an adult and the his discoveries are very complicated and I was finding them extremely difficult to explain. He made his discoveries at the Mount Wilson Observatory in, um, which overlooks Hollywood in Los Angeles. It's not far from my house. Um, and um, his, a lot of his letters are kept at one of my favorite places, the Huntington Gardens, um, which is a total side note. I don't even know why I'm saying that, except that I think this story is so cool. Um, but I love that um, how the images by Deborah Marcero help explain um, Edwin Hubble's theories. And I love how um, Isabel Marinoff includes the fact that Edwin Hubble's own discoveries were built on the work of Henrietta Leavitt, who was a Harvard astronomer, um, who really didn't, in my opinion, receive enough credit for her work. Um, but I just want to show you one magical spread. Um, so Edwin Hubble is using Mount Wilson Observatory. He discovers um, the variable stars that will help him measure the distance to the Andromeda galaxy and help him realize that it's a separate galaxy. It's not part of the Milky Way. Um, the Andromeda Nebula was in fact a separate galaxy filled with billions of stars and Edwin had found the proof. Okay, this is the pivotal spread, but look at this. It's a gatefold spread. So you unfold it and peek inside to see the vastness of the universe. All of a sudden, the universe had become a far bigger place with the Milky Way no more than a small dot in an unimaginably, unimaginably vast universe. Um, and then they go on to tell about um, Hubble's future discoveries and even connect in, of course, the Hubble Space Telescope which is named for Edwin Hubble. Um, in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope, named after Edwin, was launched into orbit. Over the years, its breathtaking images of the more distant regions of the universe have helped scientists in their search for answers to the kinds of questions that puzzled Edwin Hubble, right? So again, we have those questions on the very last spread. And again, they're in this glittering silver print. Wow, I'm so happy I didn't write that book because it would never compare with this one. This is a definite must read for every star lover in your life. Uh, the Boy Whose Head Was Filled with Stars, A Life of Edwin Hubble.